Good morning. Welcome to Recruit Training Command, Naval Station Great Lakes, the quarterdeck of the Navy. I am Rear Admiral Craig Maddie, Commander of Naval Service Training Command. I want to personally welcome you to our Navy family. What an exciting day. Family, friends, and shipmates, it is an honor to have you with us as we celebrate the graduation of our newest United States Navy sailors. It seems just like yesterday, I was graduating boot camp and it meant the world to me to have my family and friends sitting in the audience just like you. I want to take a moment to thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these sailors before you. Your support, your encouragement, and your love helped them reach this time-honored tradition. As we look upon these young women and men, we see a transformation that took place over the past several weeks. They endured rigorous physical and mental training, pushing themselves to their limits and beyond. They learned the importance of teamwork, of discipline, and of dedication. They have become a proud part of our tradition of service to our nation. Each of these new sailors will play a critical role in fulfilling our Navy's mission. They will be stationed around the world serving on ships, on submarines, and aircraft, protecting our nation and our allies. Your sailor will make a positive impact on the world. They will be ambassadors of our country, representing the best of what America has to offer. They will be leaders, they will be mentors, and they will be role models for others to follow. And as we celebrate this graduation, let us remember the sacrifices that were made to get us here. Let us honor the commitment and the dedication of these new sailors. And let us look forward to the bright future that lies ahead, knowing that our nation is in great hands. Thank you, thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these recruits. And I warmly welcome you to our Navy family. Enjoy the ceremony and celebrate your sailor. Thank you.
As the parade of graduates approaches, we salute the states and territories whose sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri, Arkansas, Michigan, Florida, Texas, Iowa, Wisconsin, California, Minnesota, Oregon, Kansas, West Virginia, Nevada, Nebraska, Colorado, North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, Washington, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Alaska, Hawaii, District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, Northern Mariana Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands. State, flags, order, arms, And now, we invite you to join the staff of Recruit Training Command in welcoming the graduating divisions with your applause as they enter Midway Ceremonial Drill Hall and are announced in the following order. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as we welcome today's graduating divisions.
Please welcome Division 2, 9-1. Division two, nine, three. Division two, nine, four. Division two, nine, five. Division two, nine, six. Division two, nine, seven. Division two, nine, eight. Division two, nine, nine.
Today's graduating performing unit is Division 9, 4, 4. Division 944 provides the arrival honor staff, honor guard, the recruit review commander, adjutant, and graduates who provide support assignments for today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Thank you. Divisions, right, face. Section leaders, fall out and collect outer garments. Divisions, counter, march. Divisions, halt. Prepare for review. At a normal interval, dress left, dress. Ready. At close interval, dress right, dress. Ready. May I have your attention, please? For the remainder of the review, no one will be permitted to pass in front of the review stand, and we ask this as a courtesy to our reviewing officer. Photography is certainly encouraged, but we ask that you remain seated and off the drill deck. The photographers you will see on deck throughout the review are the official photographers of Recruit Training Command.
Division Commanders, left or right, face, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Lieutenant Demia Spivey, Recruit Training Command's Master of Ceremonies. I would like to welcome you to today's pass and review. Today, you will see nine divisions comprised of 804 sailors participating in their graduation ceremony and soon join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit positioned at center deck. There was a review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is Seaman Christian Tells from Eva Beach, Hawaii. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> Performing today is the Triple Threat Unit on their eighth week of training, the State Flags Unit on their ninth week of training, and the Staff Unit on their tenth and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, their division commanders, and recruit chief petty officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags that they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please, hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I'll be starting from there, right. Division two, nine, one. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Mark Pastra. Petty Officer First Class Eva Simpson. Petty Officer First Class Brady Ching. And their crew chief petty officer, Seaman Matthew Fisher from Spokane Valley, Washington. Division. Two, nine, three. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Chad Elam. Petty Officer First Class Dionisha Simmons. Petty Officer First Class Donnell Bryant. And their crew Chief Petty Officer Seaman Garrett Rooker from Belmont, Mississippi. Division two, nine, four. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Chen Li. Petty Officer First Class Tyler Shantry. Petty Officer Second Class Aldrin Zaremba. And their crew chief petty officer, Seaman Apprentice Rob Zell Sylvester from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Division two, nine, five. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Charmaine Henry. Chief Petty Officer Caleb Rausch. Petty Officer First Class Andrew Cross. And their crew Chief Petty Officer Seaman Ernest Mays from Atlanta, Georgia. Division two, nine, six. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Bobby Schuler. Petty Officer First Class Ryan Demboyak. Petty Officer Second Class Antonio Espinoza. And their crew chief petty officer, Amman Apprentice Emmanuel Hannon from Greenville, South Carolina. Division two, nine, seven. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Jeffrey Norba. Petty Officer First Class Tamika Drummond. Petty Officer First Class Anthony Douglas. 
and their crew chief petty officer, Seaman McKenna Cole from Alderson, West Virginia. Division two, nine, eight. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Jeffrey Norval. Chief Petty Officer Ariana Robledo. Chief Petty Officer Michael Lagerweg. And their crew chief petty officer, Seaman Apprentice Cameron Dorsey from Slidell, Louisiana. Division two, nine, nine. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Edwin Baker. Petty Officer First Class Brandon Tarbox. Petty Officer First Class Brian Dean. And their crew chief petty officer, Airman Apprentice Patrick Curran from Merced, California. Division. Nine, four, four. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Dwayne Messam. Petty Officer First Class Jason Anderson. Petty Officer Second Class Rachel Ballou. And their recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Apprentice Mia Gwaley from Buffalo, New York. On behalf of the commanding officer and staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these division commanders and recruit chief petty officers on a job well done. In a moment, you will see the ceremonial side boys, Bosun and Honor Guard, take their places for arrival honors. This time-honored tradition is our formal greeting to this morning's reviewing officer. One such tradition is the gun salute. A gun salute is used to mark an event or to render honors. Today's reviewing officer will be receiving arrival honors to include a 15-gun salute. When requested by the announcer, please stand for the arrival honors, marching out of the colors, the national anthem, and the invocation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard.
Will the guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party? Training Command, arriving. Captain, United States Navy, arriving. Naval Service Training Command, arriving. Naval Supply Systems Command, Weapons System Support, arriving. Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Information Warfare, arriving.
The guests may be seated. Will the guests please rise? Present Arms
present arms. Chaplain Barry will offer this morning's invocation. Let us pray. O oh Lord, we thank you for blessings of this day, for these sailors, for their accomplishments in training, and their future contribution to the greatest Navy in the world. Guide all of us, Lord, and sustain us in all our ways, this day and always. May we all live so faithfully that no failure can dishearten us, no frustration can discourage us, and no fear can take away from us the joy of integrity, discipline, and teamwork, who we are and what we stand for. I thank you, O oh Lord, for transforming these men and women into proud members of the United States Navy. They are grateful for seeing a new way to live, life that values honor, courage, and commitment. May they always appreciate learning how important it is to take accountability in all situations and trustingly exercise toughness and fidelity in life. I pray that your blessing always be upon them, their families, all sailors, staff, and our great nation, the United States of America. Walk with them, O oh Lord, each and every day, and bless them as they take their steps in service, helping us all to work for your greater glory, now and forever. Amen. Guests may be seated. At this point, the commanding officer would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Then, the unit commanders would face about and relay the information to the divisions. Today's events show how orders are passed through the chain of command. Divisions present or kind of for sir. Very well. The sailors creed. I.
Good morning, Captain. I present the graduating divisions. Request permission to commence the review. Good morning. Commence the review. Aye, sir.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the United States Navy's Quarterdeck. I'm Captain Ken Frober, Commanding Officer, Recruit Training Command. I'd like to welcome all our family and friends attending this graduation here today and those watching live from around the world. Joining us today is our reviewing officer, Vice Admiral Carl Thomas, Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Information Warfare, and also the Director of Naval Intelligence. Our guest of honor, Rear Admiral Kristen Aquavelva, Commander, Naval Supply Systems, uh, Command Weapon System Support, and our special guest, Captain Clifford Collins, Chief of Staff and Commanding Officer, Flag Unit, Naval Education and Training Command, and our very important person, Ms. Juniper Thomas, Ombudsman at Large. I would also like to acknowledge 
staff from our fleet sponsors, Airborne Command and Control Logistics Squadron 120, sponsoring Division 297, Chicago White Sox and Navy Talent Acquisition Group Great Lakes, sponsored Division 298. Our fleet sponsor program allows recruits to connect with sailors from Navy commands from around the world for valuable mentoring and motivation while here at Recruit Training Command. I would also like to welcome all our veterans here today. Thank you for your dedicated service to our country. Would all our veterans please rise so we give you a round of applause. Thank you for your service to our country. Division 944 graduates today. They're our staff support unit, providing arrival honors, honor guard, and recruit review commander, adjutant, and support staff for the ceremony. Please join me in giving them and eight other graduating divisions today a round of applause for outstanding performance. The staff of Recruit Training Command is committed to providing the United States Navy with basically trained, physically fit, and smartly disciplined sailors, such as those standing before you here today. These sailors have successfully navigated 10 rigorous weeks of boot camp and found most deserving the next step, wearing the uniform recognized around the world as a symbol of freedom as a United States Navy sailor. I would also like to take a moment to introduce you, their family and friends, to your new Navy family. As you reconnect with your sailors shortly and embark on your journey together, we invite you to learn more about your family resources here in Great Lakes and around the world. Search the internet for Navy Boot Camp Navy Family and check out our website for more about your local and global resources with your new Navy family. Today's graduates will serve as a bedrock of American Naval Forces and will join other sailors on watch around the world to defend freedom and liberty against those who would threaten it. I can say with pride this training group is ready to graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you 804 of the newest, sharpest sailors in the United States Navy! Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Recruit Training Command's competitive system among individual recruits and divisions promotes teamwork, attention to detail, and pride in accomplishment. Divisions performing above standards throughout their training are awarded recognition flags in the five mission areas, academic achievement, military drill, compartment readiness, applications, and physical fitness. These flags are carried as a visible symbol of the division's success. Each flag indicates that your sailors individually and as teams met performance standards in one or more mission area events. A division that exceeds basic requirements in these areas during their training qualifies as a battle efficiency division and is awarded the battle E flag in recognition of their performance. Division 944 has earned this honor today and we congratulate them on a job well done. Vice Admiral Thomas will now present this week's individual awards, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Froberg, Commander, Naval Service Training Command, Rear Admiral Mattingly, our guest of honor, Rear Admiral Aquavilla, and today's special guest, Captains Collins. It is our pleasure to recognize the review commander for today's ceremony, Seaman Christian Tells, Division 944, from Iwa Beach, Hawaii. Throughout his training, Seaman Tells has exhibited great pride in naval service and has consistently demonstrated his potential as an effective leader. He has maintained a high standard of personal appearance and displayed excellent military bearing and command voice. Congratulations on your outstanding achievement. Well done, sailor.
Thank you, Admiral. Good morning, Admiral. For achieving the highest overall academic score during recruit training, Seaman Apprentice Abraham Alvarez Guerrero, Division 291, from Wenatchee, Washington, has earned the Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the Fort Dearborn Chapter of the Illinois Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. Seaman Apprentice Alvarez Guerrero receives a letter of accommodation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. For having displayed extraordinary qualities best expressing, expressing the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty, Seaman Apprentice Wyatt Klingman, Division 291, from Folsom, California, is awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Seaman Apprentice Klingman is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Fireman Wyatt Midbet, Division 944, from New Prague, Minnesota, is the winner of the United Service Organizations Award for best exemplifying the spirit and intent of the word shipmate. Fireman Midbet is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organizations. Well done, sailor. Seaman Apprentice Kiana Carrillo Bucco, Division 291, from Carson, California, is the recipient of the Military Order of the World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during recruit training. Seaman Apprentice Bucco is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of the World Wars. Well done, sailor.
Thank you, Admiral. The Military Officers Association Leadership Award is presented to Seaman Apprentice Caden Thagan, Division 291, from Sandy, Oregon, for demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism. Seaman Apprentice Thagan is awarded a letter of commendation from our commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Seaman Matthew Fisher, Division 291, from Spokane Valley, Washington, is the recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places him at the pinnacle of today's newest sailors. He is awarded a flag letter of commendation. Seaman Fisher, the staff of Recruit Training Command salutes you as the finest of this group of graduates. Well done, sailor. It is appropriate to recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award winners. How about another round of applause for our award recipients and outstanding work for this training group? <laughs> I have the distinct honor this morning of introducing our reviewing officer, a fellow Hawkeye Bubba, and Vice Admiral Carl Thomas, Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Information Warfare and also the Director of Naval Intelligence. A native of Northern Virginia, he received his commission in 1986 through the Naval Reserve Officer Training Corps. A carrier aviator in the E-2C Hawkeye, he served at sea as a division officer with Carrier Airborne Early Warning Squadron 114, as ship's navigator on board USS New Orleans, USS Essex, and as department head, and later as executive and commanding officer of VAW-117, the Wallbangers. Vice Admiral Thomas served as executive officer of both the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower and USS George Washington. He then commanded U.S. Sixth Fleet Command Ship, USS Mount Whitney, USS Abraham Lincoln, and USS Carl Vinson. As a flag officer, his tours included serving as a director of the 21st Century Sailor Office, OPNAV N17, Task Force 70 Commander and Commander of Carrier Strike Group 5, and Assistant Deputy Chief of Naval Operations, Operations, Plans, and Strategy, N35 Bravo. 
Prior to his current assignment, he commanded forward deployed naval forces in the Pacific as commander, United States 7th Fleet. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm recruit training command welcome for Vice Admiral Thomas. Well, good morning, and uh, thank you for the honor to be able to be the reviewing officer for such a, a fantastic group of sailors, young men and women that represent our country so well. Uh, they're energetic, they're talented, and quite frankly, I'm very, very impressed. I uh, couldn't be more excited, I couldn't be more honored than to be here with all of you on this fine October morning, all 804 of our newest sailors. I promise that I'll keep my remarks short, to the point, and sharp. First, to the professionals of Recruit Training Center, the division commanders, the instructors, and the staff, I thank you and I commend you on your superb work to shape our Navy's future. For more than a, a century, Naval Station Great Lakes has transformed over three million civilians into highly trained sailors, ready and motivated to serve in the fleet. This is hard, but critical work. Captain Froberg, my thanks to you personally and to your superb team of leaders, motivators, and mentors. This morning is all about the proud sailors standing in front of me and their families in the audience and watching live. To you, our newest sailors, I say congratulations on this significant achievement. Each of you made a personal decision to join and to serve in our Navy. It will end up being one of the wisest and the biggest decisions of your life. From this day forward, your life will forever change. Whether you serve our Navy and our nation for four years or for 40 years, you will have sacrificed and achieved something that all the citizens of our great country truly admire, but very few actually do. Thank you. Today you have earned the honor of wearing the cloth of our nation, and you have chosen to serve our nation during a time where we absolutely need you. In fact, the world needs you, and it needs our nation's leadership to provide stability and security during some very turbulent times around the globe. Never underestimate that personal decision that you made to serve. You each have your own personal reason. Collectively, you are 804 strong, and you're a formidable force. What makes you so formidable is that you have come from across our nation, from its cities, its suburbs, and its rural areas. In fact, you have also come from our territories and from other nations. And last night, I had the great honor to sit down and have some pizza with some very fine young individuals, and I had a chance to meet a shipmate from American Samoa, Seaman Mayaba, and another shipmate from Guam, Seaman Alana. And neither one of those two had ever been out of American Samoa or out of Guam. And here they are in Chicago and about to join the Navy and see the rest of the world. So congratulations to those two and to the other 802 of you standing in front of me. You've chosen to come here for many different reasons. And we are stronger because of the unique capabilities that each of you brings. You have chosen to become part of something bigger than yourself, to wholly and visibly stand for something noble. In a world where words are all too often just a tweet, an email, or a post, you have joined an organization whose, a an organization whose actions often speak louder than words, and those actions reverberate globally. You have joined an organization that demonstrates esprit de corps 
and respects the words honor, courage, and commitment. You've also joined an organization that recognizes individual skills, but one where the word teamwork says what it means and means what it says. I congratulate each and every one of you for your persevering through this demanding curriculum here at RTC. You should rightfully be proud of your accomplishments. Hard work pays off in the Navy. Continue to put your best foot forward, and you will be justly rewarded for your hard work. As you head to the fleet, know that learning is a continuous process, and you will be challenged in ways that you have not imagined. Embrace those challenges. I know that you are up to the task. No sailor embarks on this journey alone. We all work and succeed as a team. That team also includes your friends, your spouses, your significant others, and your families. To those of you here today and to those who are unable to be present, thank you and congratulations. Thank you for raising these fine men and women with a patriotic spirit and for entrusting the United States Navy with their future. You have enabled their success, and your sailors' achievement today is also your achievement. Thank you for the guidance, the courage, the values, and the selflessness that you instilled in these fine sailors. So again, I say congratulations to you. One of my jobs is One of my jobs is Director of Navy Intelligence. In that role, I knew, know too well that today's world presents a great deal of challenges. Each and every day around the globe, the United States Navy is on the front line, focused squarely on the mission of defending the United States' interests, deterring malign behavior, and strengthening the connections with our allies and partners. I recently served as Commander of the U.S. 7th Fleet, commanding the naval forces that are operating forward in the Western Pacific. That particular region faces immense challenges, and with its sweeping and critical global maritime impact, ec ec economic impact, and the support that we provide to our close allies of Japan, South Korea, the Philippines, Australia, and Thailand, that region will require our Navy's tremendous focus for many years to come. There and in the many other troubled areas of the world, we are up to any challenge that our competitors may pose because of the strength and the tenacity of the United States sailor. You are what sets the United States apart from potential adversaries. The Navy will train you, they will give you tremendous responsibility, and then we as leaders will have the privilege to watch you perform at amazing levels. I'm honored to stand shoulder to shoulder with you to ensure that our nation remains safe. And I'm honored to call you my ship, uh, shipmate. Last night, again at Pizza Night, I heard many hoo with division numbers that followed uh, behind your division number. Uh, my good friend, Admiral Kristen Acabello, wasn't fortunate enough to be with us last night, but I think it would be uh, outstanding if I could get a team-wide Huya Navy. So then on the count of three, let's hear your best Huya Navy. You ready? One, two, three. Huya Navy! Outstanding. <laughs> Again, a hearty congratulations to all of you. I look forward to seeing you out in the fleet.
Vice Admiral Thomas will now receive the salute of the graduating divisions. He will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Froberg. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty. Please join me in one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians of Navy Band Great Lakes. If your sailor is reporting to Naval Station Great Lakes for follow-on training, you will experience some waiting as your sailor checks in. As you wait, the National Museum of the American Sailor welcomes your visit. It is conveniently located just past the main gate of Naval Station Great Lakes with plenty of parking, free admission, and a helpful and friendly staff. Flags. Post. Section leaders fall up and retrieve outer garments.
Ladies and gentlemen, today is the only day for access to the Navy Exchange and photo pickup. Today and tomorrow, you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown parking garage. Sailors going on Liberty without a vehicle are to exit gate 8 toward the train station parking lot. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy days. And without further delay, now hear this. Liberty call! Liberty call!